Hey everyone, hope you're staying safe, keeping busy. I'm down here at the Academy again, um, just sent out the last of the balance bars from this order, so everyone should have them uh, tomorrow, which is great. And it's nice to see that they've sold out. In fact, I think we've got one left in stock now. So it's great they've been so popular. I hope you're getting a lot of use out of the tutorial videos over on our YouTube channel. Those videos are a little bit longer, so I'm keeping them on YouTube for the moment. Um, but feel free to let me know if you'd rather they're on Facebook, Instagram. And now I had a couple of queries about the cost of these bars, because I suppose on the surface of it, it looks like a fairly simple metal structure. But there was a reasonable amount of engineering and research that went into them. And they're actually a lot better engineered than the ones we use at the Academy, because the ones we use to teach on don't really need to go in a home situation. It doesn't really matter if they mark the floor. Uh, it doesn't matter as much if the feet aren't completely smooth, because this is my floor, it's made of rubber. Um, I don't mind if it gets marked. There are certain considerations we need to make when we're looking at a product that's going to go into your house, that's going to be on your carpet, on your nice laminate floor. So with that in mind, I just wanted to talk you through exactly what it is about the bars that's different to the ones we use at the Academy. Um, because the, the metal in the bars, the actual steel work, is probably the cheapest bit of the bar. The most expensive bit of the bar is these rubber feet, which are quite a clever piece of kit. Now here I have one of the bars from the Academy, and as you can see, it's got these grey rubber feet on. Now these are just rubber. And what happens is, the scaffolding here starts to chew through the rubber. You've got a sharp metal edge and a rubber bottom. So as they're jumped on, as they're moved around, it starts to eat through. We couldn't have that happening in people's houses because suddenly you've got a bit of metal that's showing. We didn't want any sharp edges. So the rubber feet that we find on the bars we're selling, not only have they got a slightly more rounded profile to them, and that gives you a little bit more surface area, so a little bit better grip, they're also slightly harder wearing but they've got a metal insert in here. So the metal of the bar can't chew through the rubber. Now because we've had to get these, because they're going to your houses and we want to consider you know, your, your nice homes, four of these makes up about half of the cost of the balance bar. They're very expensive to buy in the quantities we buy them. That's why the bars are the cost they are. So if you're interested in how we make them, I might even make a video of me putting together some of the bars and so you can see the construction and see what goes into it. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that they are quite significantly better than the ones we have at the Academy to teach on. Anyway, take care guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.